Well, hey everybody, it's Terry here with True Blind Gaming, where we believe the only limit is yourself. And I'd like to welcome you to my next Let's Play, and we are playing Stardew Valley. Can you believe it? I'm actually able to play a game in this decade. <laughs> so the story behind this is the people who are creating mods for Minecraft have now created my uh, mods for Stardew Valley. And they are at a state now where I feel comfortable doing a Let's Play for you guys. So this is not really going to be a tutorial on how the mods work. We're just going to do like a serious okay, let's just Let's Play. So, nothing to do but get started. Alright, Farmer's Name. A lot of people on my YouTube channel call me True, so we're gonna go with True. Farm's Name. Farm's Name. We're just gonna go True Blind Farm. True Blind. Favorite thing. Cheesecake. Now, we've integrated uh, the pet. You can choose which one. But we don't have a description for it yet, but I want a dog for sure. So if I click this a few times. Okay, I know if it's in between the dog breeds, I will most likely get a dog, so. Mail. We're doing the standard farm. I haven't really actually played with a lot of the other ones yet. Okay, so during the intro, I'm not going to talk very much because I know a lot of people just like to watch it. So enjoy. Robin said hello, you must be true. Robin said I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Luce sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. Robin said the farm's right over here if you will follow me. Robin said this is true white farm.
Robin said, what's the matter? Robin said, sure, it's a pill or comb, but there's some good soil underneath at best. Robin said, with a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. Robin said, dot, 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 and here we are, your new home. Louis said, ah, the new armor. Louis said, welcome, I'm Louis, mayor of Pelican Town. Louis said, you know, everyone's been asking about you. Louis said, it's not every day that someone new moves in, it's quite a big deal. Louis said, so dot, 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 you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. Louis said, it's a good house, dot, 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 very rustic. Robin said, Rustic, that's one way to put it, dot, dot, dot. Robin said, Rusty might be a little more apt, though. Louis said, don't listen to her, true, she's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you'll buy one of her house upgrades. Louis said, anyway, dot, 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 you must be tired from the long journey, you should get some rest. Louis said, tomorrow you want to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. Louis said, the townspeople would appreciate that. Louis said, oh, I almost forgot, if you have anything to sell, just listen in this box here, I will come by during the night to collect it. Louis said, well, dot, 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 good luck. All right, so our journey begins. So first couple things is we can tell how much gold we have. 500. We can tell uh, time of day and spring, 6, 10, uh, Monday, of spring. and our health 100, 100. and stamina, which is based on a percentage. So the first couple things I want to do is we can move tile by tile to kind of make sure that we're moving kind of in a grid pattern and in on the center of tiles. If I come over and we can also uh, get our coordinates and go up. From there, we can get the chest with the parsnips in it. There we go. Now, another thing I want to do to organize and help with mobility is to come up here, grab the TV, grab this house plant. Now, if I'm at 1, 7, and get my. Put that there. And put the house plant here. You can see the TV's here, houseplant, if I go to the right, that leads me to the bed. And there we go. And the TV will, if I go down, it'll lead me outside. But let's check the TV real quick. Oh, yay! Good spirits. Okay, and living off the land. Okay, so if we head outside. Now, we're going to still do the same um, a grid movement outside, too. So, first we got to start clearing stuff. Let me organize my tools better. Oops. There we go. Alright. So, so we're going to use a grid movement. And I want to come down to like 60, 20. So here. Now we'll check this row. Okay, that should be enough for that row. So for 60-20, we can start tilling the ground. And I want five. Check this next row. Okay. Next one? Okay. Can't really take care of grass with a pickaxe. Okay, there we go. Show be good. Getting our little plot finished up here. Okay, now that we have our 15 spots. 
Now I know you can hold down the mouse key and plant a lot faster. I find either if it's the mods or something else, but I tend to miss spots. So I just take it slow and make sure I get every spot. Now we're going to water all our parsnips here. And you can see it reads the tile not that we're standing on, but the one that's currently in front of us. Okay, so now I'm going to deactivate grid movement since it's not as precise that I have to move tile by tile. But I want to start clearing some important paths here on the farm so we can get to particular places. One of the... One is the... Water. Oh, no. There we go. And we want to clear out these things around the watering so it will be easier to get to. I need to stop doing that. Use the scythe. There you go. There's a large stump here. Okay, cleared out around that stump, so that's what we want. Now, the other thing I want to do is try to get a cleared path, a uh, cleared of major paths around the farm. And just above my parsnips here, running left to right is a good one. And of course, the other thing I want to get is enough stuff for a chest. Because, like, what do we have now? We need a lot more wood. <laughs> we need to find some trees. So I'm just going to continue this way. And we're doing okay on energy. So that's that direction. Let's head this way. We've got our first tree. Okay, that's pretty much that. So let's head over. And I'm moving my grid here so I can be more precise in where I'm chopping. Over to like 41. Now there's going to be a large stump in our way. What if we head up? I kind of clear around this stump. I want to make sure this path up to the mountains is clear. Okay, that's clear. Well, let's check over here. Yeah. Here's another tree. You're an okay on energy. I forget how long it takes to chop these down if you don't have upgraded tools. <laughs> Yay, all the wood. Okay. Now the other one I want to take care of. Is if we head over... Well, oh, here's a... Might as well take care of this. We're here right here, so... The 63 is down. Because I want to be able to get access to the the forest when we can. So we're going to start heading down. Okay, so we're down. Start heading this way. And believe me, I you typically walk around a lot without the grid movement. It's just for these clearing and first, we have to be a little more precise. I tend to use it a bit more. 
I like the freedom of being able to walk around without it though. Okay, so now we're back where we were. Let's go up. And I can select my inventory slots with two methods, either using the... Oh, here is a tree. The keyboard or using my mouse to select it. Uh, we might have enough to get this tree. Yeah. Okay. okay, how much wood do we have? Yes, we have enough for a chest. So let's go take care of that. I'm going to deactivate the grid movement. No, I can't take care of you. Yet. Alright, so if we come up to our house, first chest I like to make is for my tools and stuff. So. so we're told if our chest, if a, a crafting recipe is available for crafting, what it takes and what it does. One chest, not craftable, plus one chest. So. Axe, use the chop wood. Axe selected, chest selected, chest. There we go. Empty slot, empty, empty axe, use the chop wood, pickaxe, I, oh, use the watering can, use the water crop, oh. And we don't soil, need can, that right now. Two mixed seeds, there's a little bit of an empty slot, 21 empty slot, 20 stone, a common empty slot, 36 five empty slot, 18 sap, empty slot, empty slot. I'm going to get slot. another um, chest for that stuff, but right now we're just going to put it in there. 66, All right, turn this off. Let's check your mailbox. You don't have any mail. You'll hear me using coordinates a lot. I depend on it um, a bunch to get around. And let's go to foraging. Category, objects, category, focus, dash, artifact, spot. Which we can have. We can have this mod, part of the mod where we can use the control up and down, page down to switch category, and then page up and down to find objects, and then end or home to get the location there. Artifact spot is one eight two three. Player is zero two three. We also have a auto. Artifact spot is one eight two three. Player zero one eight two three. One twenty three. Um. A auto 13, travel mod, but I don't like using it because it's the game doing it for me. I'd rather just do it myself. We've got an artifact spot here. Yay, clay. Okay, 2818, which is up here. There we go. 3 player push. One, two, three, basically across from where we were. Nine, fourteen. Twelve, ten. There's something in our way. Go around that. Dandelion. Plus one dandelion. Thank you. Unfortunately, soil is one eight two three. Player is one one. Alright, so we have that is all the foraging or objects in this 11, area. So let's go to town. Seventeen, twenty four. All right, now I might pick up all the foraging here, depending on where it is. There is no forage in this area right now. That's okay. And we're not going to really focus on saying hi to people quite yet. Um, I'm going to major wait for a major event. And then uh, we'll just say hi to everybody in one big group. But since there's no forage here, we'll head up to the mountain. Now, the reason I'm able to get around so smoothly is I've been playing this a lot. <laughs> so. Oh, there's an 8332, so it's actually right near us. Well, 8322, so that's not anywhere near us. But there's a leak at 14015. That's not bad, let's go get that. One downside to the mod of that part is it will tell you... <laughs> It will tell you forage, but it necessarily won't tell you if it's, if it's out of range. So 4736. We should be able to get that. Alright, 
There we go. Campfire lead, artifacts, spot focus, campfire, color, stone focus, stone focus, stone focus, stone focus, and okay. 47, 35. That's all the merge, uh... 42, 32, 35, 30. 4 is there. It's getting late. I wish Minecraft would figure out to tell you 90. when it's nighttime. <laughs> By ambience. Backwoods entrance. Backwoods entrance. Okay, now backwoods. Farm focused, mountain focused. There's no forage here. 8.30 p.m., Monday, one of spring. But I'm going to show you why it was important to clear that area. Farm entrance. Farm entrance. Because we come in. Mark let's stump. go around the stump. Maple bush. Axe selected. 102. Oh. Mark stump. Sorry. I'll have to pass on you because I don't grass. have the energy. 48 grass. 51. 17. I really don't want to start the next day with half energy. 67. 17. 63. 17. 9. 10 p.m. Monday. Monday. Spring. Water. Oh. Water. 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 We have time to dip into the forest downstairs, downstairs, rats, 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 <laughs> down in the map rats, and rats, see if rats, there's rats, any rats, forge rats. right nearby. Forty-eight, sixty-one, forty-three, sixty-one, forty-one, sixty-one. Forest entered. Candlelight focused. Candlelight is at seven-one-seven. Layer is at Seven-one-seven. Zero. Oh, that's near us. Seventy-one five. Push. Seventy-seven. Candlelight. Plus one candlelight. Gotcha. Find candlelight. Artifacts not focused. Focused. Artifacts, spot, artifacts, spot is 87 39. Clear as it's artifacts, spot is 87 39. 77. 87 39. 0 p.m. Monday, what's on focus? Quit focused. We focused. Wild horse radish, wild horse radish focused. Wild horse radish is at 36 45. Clear as it's 70. Oh, that's not near us. Wild horse radish focused. End of list. We focused. What's on focus? Artifacts, spot, spot, artifacts, spot is 87 39. Clear as it's 70 11 70 19. 10 10 p.m. Monday, 82 19. 85 19. I'm going to try to get down to this artifact spot. 86 33. 87 36. Artifact spot is 87 39. Clear as it's 87 36. Yeah. 92, 36. Oh, I went the wrong way. 87, 36. Artifact spot. Dimension. Oh, selected. Oil. Plus one prehistoric statue artifact. Oh, yeah. You found an artifact. The curator of the local museum might want to know about this. Okay, so we can take care of that tomorrow. Perfect. 87, 20. Hey, so let's go ahead and get to bed now. 81, 20, push. Yeah. 75, 26. 70, 24. 69, 18. Yeah, you're going to hear those numbers a lot, so get used to it. Farm entered. Quick. Walk along here. 59, 60, 63, 6 quid. 64, 58. Head up. Grass, 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 grass. Nope, sorry, can't chop you down. But now I know you're there now. Water, 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 positive. 63, 15. Okay, so let's go sell a couple things. Because we can earn a little bit of money 70, from 18. our... 70, 18. Shipping in. Foraging. Oh, I have to give. I can find more loot. I've actually never gotten the scapula before. In a, any of my files. Watering can. Use the empty empty slot. M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M Especially for the first day. Day number two. And these uh, episodes are going to be like two days long, unless there's like a festival or stuff like that. So let's check the TV again. It always seems to have two sunny days, and then it has a rainy day. It seems to be the same. Alright, so let's get that. Let's water our crops real quick. By the way, if Concerned Ape ever sees these videos, I don't know if he ever will, but the music is some of the best I've ever heard. It's great for a game, video game like this. I actually listen to the soundtrack uh, when I'm working or just at home. I think it's great. Grass. Water. Fill that back up. So. Nah, I don't have my tools. 65, 17. Farm house more. Chest. Okay. Empty, 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 can. Use empty slot. Fill that back empty in slot, there. Oh, use empty, 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 empty slot. Now, of course, if we check our mail. 68, 19. Mailbox. Hello there. Carrot just got back from a vision trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. Carrot, I got something for you. Carrot, I believe. 
Yeah. Um, to the beach. No, so we can also do the journal too. So like, we got the archaeology one. So, ah, okay. Huh. It's not reading the qu the mailbox. Um, quests in the journal. I'll have to tell the mod developer. Oh, the archaeology one is for the museum, though. Okay. You still want to do foraging, because it'll be awesome to upgrade that as quick as possible. Well, welcome. And that's all we got. Okay. Well, 16. 16, 7, 50 a.m. Tuesday, no spring. We could run over to the museum real quick. Tom Enter. So focused. Capital focused. Capital is at 50 dash 71. Player is at 1 dash 54. 5071. 20, 54. 29, 54. That's not really where I want to get to, though. Capital is at 50 dash 71. Player is at 1 focused. Stone to the middle, focused. We focused. We focused. Edwin, stone, stone. Capital, capital is at 50 dash 71. Player is at 2 dash 70. Capital is at 50 dash 728. 79. Oh, we'll see. I might get it later. 28, 93. Yep. 29, 94. 41, 92. 49, 95. We're going to head across the bridge over here. There we go. Oh, you just have to come in. Well, I don't know what that was. Archaeology. Yeah, I'll have to read what that is, because it shouldn't do that. One colon, okay. Museum. Two colon, one colon, donate museum. So donate. Empty slot, empty slot, oh, empty slot, empty slot, empty slot, empty slot, donatable for historic scapula. So it tells us it's donatable. If we click on it, we kind of get these kind of X coordinates and Y coordinate slots we can donate stuff to. So we're just going to donate that. Journal updated. Capital, but official spring flowers, archaeology completed. Archaeology completed. To the beach, archaeology completed. Okay, but the quest isn't going away, so we'll have to see about that later. But for now, let's go to the beach and meet Willie. And we're going to start a cutscene. Lily said, Oh, there, son. Lily said, Earth, there was a newcomer in town, got caught up with the media. Lily said, Dot, 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 I'm still trying to unwind from a month out of the salty seas, dot, dot, dot. Lily said, It was a big haul, I sold a lot of fish. Lily said, Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Lily said, Here, I want you to have my old fishing rod. Lily said, It's important to me that the auto fishing stays alive, and hey, maybe we'll buy something from the shop once in a while. You received a new hole. Lily said, there's good water here in the valley, all kinds of fish. Lily said, oh yeah, my shop's back open now, so come by if you need supplies. Lily said, I'll also buy anything you catch. Lily said, if it smells, it sells. Heh <laughs> that's what my alpaca used to say anyway. Water. Alright, we have control again. Now, I'm sorry, Willie, but the way I do fishing... Your bamboo pole is not going to be enough, so I'm going to come in. Buy the training rod. Now, don't watch. Sorry, Willie. But I've got to explain about fishing. It is probably the hardest thing in the game for a blind person, since the, the mini game does have a bunch of good sounds with it. Um, but it does present quite a challenge. Now, a lot of the people who are using the accessibility mods will use an auto fishing mod. I'm not going to. I want to prove that you can level up fishing and do okay without the mod. It still takes you a long time. It's really what someone put in my Discord. Unnecessarily tedious. But 
I think it, if it's still doable, I'm still going to do it. So now I got to fill the void of fishing and still talk to you guys. And I think what I want to do is talk about the goals I want for this playthrough. Except I'm going to stop talking when I'm actually trying to catch a fish. Stay. There we go. Uh, my goals, I have one, two goals mainly. One is to complete the community center in less than two years. And the other goal is to have Grandpa's Shrine. So at the end of two years, there is a soft ending. Don't do it. Sometimes they like to jump up right at the end. Um, where Grandpa's evaluation, I'd like to have all four candles on his shrine lit. So those are the two main goals of this. And the only mods I'm using are the accessibility ones. I'm not going to use any time mods or auto fishing mods or anything like that. A little stinker. So with the fishing, it's hard for me to tell which way the fish is going and when they're moving. I can tell when I have it because it's in the green rectangle and it makes a like a pleasant reeling sound versus when you're not. And it doesn't make a pleasant reeling sound. Also, treasure chests, I kind of just ignore because um, trying to find out where it appears on the bar is impossible right now. There is a um, talk in the works to make it accessible in a way without making the game like easier, but providing information so you're able to tell what the fish is doing a little better. See, like there, you can tell when I lost it, I tried to go down to see if it dropped, and it didn't. So, I just got to learn what the fish are doing. And of course, you guys can actually provide me input too. If you see me struggling with a particular part of the fishing, how to improve it. So, like I said, someone on my Discord said it's unnecessarily tedious, but I have gotten to fishing level 10, or at least 8, in less than a year. Which, for all the fish I miss and everything and not being able to see it, I think it's probably quite an achievement, so I hope to show you guys that. But you guys will just have to put up with the very tedious fishing. Stay. Ah, ah. God, I was hoping to win that one. I think it was super close. Yeah, if you find that I get super quiet, it's because I'm focusing. So. But, um, let's talk about why I wanted to do Stardew Valley. So, the mods for this were introduced back in... Well, the idea was introduced back in November is when it actually started. And it was, like I said, the same people who created the ones for Minecraft, which I've done a couple videos about. And they wanted to do Stardew Valley, which in a way is a little easier because it's only a top-down view, so you don't have to deal with three dimensions. And it's based on a coordinate system, which is very valuable. And the developer, Concerned Ape, made it easy to mod. And of course, like, 
thousands and thousands of mods have been made for this game. So, um, we wanted to do it with accessibility. The first thing was getting it to work with screen reading software. So I'm using one called, uh, the company is called Freedom Scientific and the screen reader is called JAWS. So that's the voice you hear. I've been using JAWS for many, many, many years. And I'm glad I'm able to use it for this game because I understand that voice um, very well. So... <laughs> gotcha. So the first thing was being able to navigate by coordinates and knowing where you are. The second place is the second part was to know what am I looking at, and that's what the read is called. Read tile. It reads the tile that's in front of the character. You can get which one you're standing on, but it's more what the player is facing. So, and there are two major mods. The first one, Stardew Access, is the one that reads all the coordinates and the places and the, uh, the what tile you're looking at and everything. I lose a lot of time when it zooms up to the top like that, trying to find it. And so the Stardew Access reads the the tiles and the coordinates and stuff like that. The other one is called Accessible Tiles, and it is the one responsible for a lot of the grid movement, the categories of where stuff is on the map. Um, it also has the auto travel, which I am not going to use because I prefer to walk around by myself. So. Good fishy. Good fishy. I like when fish do that. And of course, as our bar gets bigger, uh, that will be a lot easier. So, uh, the mods have been in development for, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six months now. And we're still coming out with new features. Like, and then, like for instance, the general entries used to work. Um, it could be just my setup is having trouble right now, but we'll see. Um, turnaround is really quick. And actually, because of the way the... mods are set up, I'm able to grab the source and actually, if I run into something that I don't like, I can recompile it myself. <laughs> so, and I've actually helped contribute a little bit by fixing a couple bugs and integrating a couple things into the mod itself. Because it's written in C, uh, C Sharp. So you just download uh, Visual Studio and you're ready to go. So it's not that hard to create mods for this game. Oh yeah! Ooh, soda! I'm going to fish to about 8 o'clock and then do some more, hopefully some more foraging and artifact spots before heading back to the house again. Yeah, this is probably going to be the most difficult time to fill is we're fishing. And the music quit. And how do I entertain you guys? You will notice, um, it's 5 o'clock, that we don't hear the waves anymore. That is one downside to fishing at the beach is the waves. So what I've discovered is you actually go into Willy's shop and come back out. The waves uh, sounds will stop. I don't know if that's an unnecessary bug in the game or why it does that, but I'd like doing that so I don't have to try to hear the fishing over the waves. PM, Tuesday, so we have a couple other goals that we have to do. Of course, we have to do animals and we'll get our pet soon. And we want to romance somebody. So there are six bachelorettes available for me. And I'd like to have your guys' input. Like if you have names for animals, if you have names for my pet, we're going to get a dog hopefully if the menu worked correctly. 
And I, I'd love to name my dog after my current seeing eye dog named Venus. That would be cool. But if you guys have better names, let me know. Also, if you guys want to have an animal named, like either a cow, chicken, something, let me know. And let me know who we should romance. I've romanced uh, Leah before. Mostly because she just shoves salads in her face and she loves you. So, some of the uh, ladies are hard because they like gemstones the most. And I find trying to find a lot of those is hard. But we have to do that to get points for Grandpa's Shrine. So, I mostly start the social aspect later, like in the fall. Mostly it's trying to get established and make money first. Okay, so we're either going to run out of time or stamina here really quick. And you know what? Let's end it on a success. No, I can't help it. I need one more cast. <laughs> yeah, because time freezes when you're in the fishing game. The, the longest is just waiting for a fish to bite when you don't have bait yet. So, uh, to cover something else about fishing, is I typically use the training rod up until level 8. At level 8, you can get a piece of tackle called the barbed hook. Once you get the barbed hook, it makes easy fish like this super easy to catch and somewhat challenging fish doable. So, You're starting to feel so after I get that barbed hook with the uridium rod, that's when I start collecting the fish that I need for the community center. Now, with my experience, there are two fish that are really hard for me to catch, and that is the puffer fish and the sturgeon. Okay, so let's go ahead. Now, this is a good example where if you're not... If you don't have the bridge yet, see it's at 7-4, we can't get over there yet because we haven't built the bridge. But we can get that one. It's over here. No! Let's take, let's take off our tools so we don't make ourselves exhausted. Okay, so that's all the forging we can do. Okay. Let's go to Cinder Sap to see if there's any foraging when we're walking through. Focus. Artifacts, 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 three, four, three, four, six, three, that's way west. Ooh. Might be able to get you. Ah, uh, no, I don't want to go down through the water. Focus. 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 Alright, so let's continue through. 80, 80, I would if I had more time. 68, oh, well, well, 69, 68 ish. Farm entrance. Farm Okay, we're on the farm. 10 30. 61. I'd like to jump up to the 63, 61. mountain to see if there's any grass, 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 forage grass, up there, grass, real quick. Grass, 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 grass. grass. Water, 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 62, 19, quick. 10 50 p.m. Tuesday, 2 of spring. Grass, 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 grass. 48, 18. 43, 18. Mark stump. 41, 10. Okay, see if there's anything up here. Nope. I know because it will default to the cat of the objects category, but that was entrances. So like to the bus stop and stuff like that. Nope. Get out of my way. So that's all really we can do. We can sell the rest of our wares. So let's sell that. Five. Ten. Fifteen. 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 
That's what I'm talking about. Level up our fishing. And that's it. How much money did we get? 725. Not bad. And that's day number three. Well, guys, that is going to be the end of this episode. We are going to, like I said, do one or two days per episode. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the beginning of this series. I am excited to do something chill, and it's much easier to bring these to you. Um, I hope to publish maybe once a week if it gets really good, maybe twice a week. But if you guys have any feedback, you guys let me know down in the comment sections. Um, let me know what you want to do for animals or romance and stuff like that. But we will continue next time with Stardew Valley. We'll continue more fishing. The community center is opening soon, and so is the mines. And I'd like to show that stuff off as well. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode today. I hope you take that or uh, enjoyed the episode. I hope you have been inspired by this episode. I hope you take that and go be the inspiration to someone else's life. And please stay tuned to True Blind Gaming. See you later, guys. <laughs>